And welcome back. This is Bolly Scooby with an episode of Let's Play Diablo 2. I'm joined as always by my paladin. And I got a couple things wrong in the last uh, last little series of episodes that we did last time. Uh, one thing I was I was wrong. You can level grind in single player. I've, I didn't think you could, but the enemies do respawn, as as you can see. So getting back here, I did level up uh, just the once. So now I am level 7. Let's go ahead and show that off. Uh, another thing that... Um, I, I got a request to show off the, the skills a little bit. Uh, there was a little confusion about uh, what I was and wasn't using. I'm not using like any of these skills that I have. You know, you can use sacrifice. Uh, basically, you have increased damage and accuracy, but it hurts you. Uh, I I do not recommend that one at all, unless uh, unless you have a certain side character that you you can't get yet. So I mean, really, it's not that great of a of a uh, of a thing to be using at this point. Uh, there's holy bolt. Um, as something I can put on this right side here, uh, and then when I right click it'll launch the holy bolt, uh, but I have no interest in that right now. Then there's smite where I can stun the enemy with my shield. Uh, I have a point in that, but I'm not using that either because, you know, really I I'm looking for stuff that's down here. I'm actually going to be using holy shield eventually. Uh, what I do have on is Might right now, uh, that's the only thing that I'm using in terms of skills, and I only have one point in it, which isn't that great, but I do have a damage output increase of 40%. Uh, I could also go for Holy Fire, uh, basically, yeah, it does fire damage as I, as I walk across. There's all these bonuses that you can get, and we'll go over those uh, for, for my build in particular. Then there's Thorns, uh, you guys I'm sure know Thorns, but... This one is insane. It's 250 damage back. Uh, the only bad thing about it is you have to get hit, and therefore I'm not typically a fan of that one, uh, but I was when I started the game. I'm like, oh my god, that's awesome! But then I found out I was still dying all the time. Uh, what else have I got? Oh, oh yes, uh, prayer slowly regenerates uh, your, your life, but it costs mana all the time, so I, I don't recommend it. Uh, then there's Defiance, basically it increases your defense and w when that aura is going. I might switch over to that, but I, I'm a big fan of increasing damage, not increasing defense, so I'm going to keep Might for now. Once again, just the one point, that's all I want to put into it right now. Yeah, definitely. And then uh, you can have Resist Fire, Resist Cold. Uh, you know, it starts off at 52%, which is great, uh, but... Once again, I'm, I'm sticking with this right now. I do have two uh, skill points, um, but I'm not going to be using them right now. I'm going to be waiting for at least the, uh, the level 12 spells, that it looks like. You know, I want to put one there, I believe. Yeah, I want to put one there eventually. But we'll, we'll get to that build uh, sooner or later. In terms of my character, I, uh, I found this <laughs> coming back here. I killed Bishy Bosh again. Uh, and, and he dropped this. 46 defense on quilted armor and all resistances plus 10%. This was far better than what I had before. Uh, I also changed my belt uh, to a regular belt, even though it has two belts on it. It's, it's, it's called a regular belt, and that gives me uh, three um, lines here on, on the potion line. So that's pretty much why I went for that. And then that, uh, that charm that I picked up has... Uh, plus 3% to, to lightning resist, which is kind of nice. I'll probably replace that eventually. So here's what my character looks like. We're outside the burial grounds. Let's go ahead and head that way because this I'm pretty sure. Place has been desecrated. Didn't you say that already? Let's go down here. Look at that poison damage. They turn green when when they are poisoned. And yes, you can you can poison zombies in this game. I don't know if you can do that in every game. I I doubt it. That's not typically something that you do. It's just like there's a poison. There, there's a zombie coming at you. Use poison. Uh, yeah, that doesn't occur all the time. And we'll go over. Ooh, a large charm. Those are pretty much the uh, upgrades of, of of the small charms. They take up two inventory spots. And once I get something to identify that, a scroll of identify, I will use that immediately on that thing because it, it's you know permanent stat boosts. Oh, is that a ring? 
Oh, and another large charm. Holy crap, we're getting charms all up and down this place. Let's go ahead and go for the middle, because Blood Raven's going to be in the middle here. And she can raise Join the dead. The so dead. just go for her, find her, get her. Oh, she's poisoned me. But luckily, my yellow axe is doing quite a bit of damage here. Ah, run away. Don't run away from me. Get back here. So don't bother taking out the, uh, all these guys. You can, you can finish them off afterwards, but they do die. And she always drops to, I think she always drops a gem. I did mix up gems and jewels a little bit in the last session. Uh, basically, gems are, Sisters, are... There was no other way. Right, of course. Uh, gems are, you know, rubies, sapphires. Are there sapphires? There are sapphires. Rubies, sapphires, emeralds, diamonds, all that kind of stuff. Uh, those, uh, those are gems. We haven't come across a jewel yet. I called them jewels a couple times. When we find one, I will show you. Those are okay-ish. Uh, we can return to Kashia for our reward. Actually, let's do that now. Wrong button there. Um, and... Afterwards, I'll, I, I got a little bit of shopping to do. I want to identify these, pretty much. Uh, but more importantly, we want to talk to Kasia and get our reward. Our reward is actually pretty good. I can hardly believe that you've defeated Bloodraven. Though she was once my closest friend, I pray that her tortured spirit remains banished forever. You have earned my respect, stranger, and the allegiance of the rogues. I have placed several of my best warriors at your disposal. Awesome. So now we can hire uh, basically basically companions. Uh, and they have different effects, right? I don't know what Anor is. Uh, fire and cold. I'm hoping that she's cold. If she's not, I might come in and trade her. Uh, but we can open up her menu with O. Oh, you can equip your your companion I should have kept the uh, the other armor I had and, and given that to her and then uh, yeah you can only equip them with bows you can't equip them with arrows they have an infinite supply of arrows uh, there's there's uh, how do I put it there's limitations to to what they can use uh, what benefits they get for instance they don't have mana so don't bother giving them anything that you know plus anything to mana. Uh, don't bother giving them anything that repairs itself because nothing they're, they're going to be using ever gets damaged. With that all in mind, let's go ahead and get some shopping done off screen. Evil difficult to comprehend, let alone combat. There is only one Haradrim sage, schooled in the most arcane history and lore, who could advise us. His name is Deckard Cain. You must go to Tristram and find him, my friend. I pray that he still lives. Sorry about that, Akara. I didn't see that the, the little symbol above Akara, but she had a new quest for us, so I did have to cut her off there. Uh, we do have our next quest now. We need to go through the underground passage to the Dark Lord, search for the Tree of Inifis, and recover the scroll so that we can find Deckard Cain. Yeah, he comes back in this one. I like them better in this one. Okay, we got a little bit of shopping done. I didn't buy anything for myself. Uh, I, th I did uh, the, the ring, though, that I got. Uh, plus one to maximum damage. Cold resist, plus 5%. Not that great, but I don't have anything better. Uh, the large charms I got, uh, plus 3 to strength, plus 11 to attack rating, plus 3 to dexterity. Uh, I'll probably replace both of these really soon. Uh, they're not that great, but, you know, I don't have anything else. So I'm keeping them for now. And uh, I usually try to keep about up to here full of charms and there's going to be another square item that we're going to get eventually that's always going to take up a spot in my inventory and for Anor I did give her this hunter's bow of flame it adds one to three fire damage so her damage goes up from one to four to, to five to sixteen now I don't believe I've, won I've gone over town portals before I do use these all the time basically um, yeah, they warp you back here instantly. They worked the same as they did in Diablo. Uh, you can... Well, if you're playing in multiplayer, like you can open one and your buddy can go in and out of it infinite amount of times. But as soon as you go back through it, it closes. 
like that. So you want to keep that in mind in case you want to you, you want to not use as many town portals. I'm doing a lot of explaining in this game. Oh, there are enemies down here. Uh, I did give her it right. It added fire damage, so I know that she already had that. It looks like that's all she's doing. I'm not seeing any cold or anything like that, so I might go and trade her for somebody else uh, next time we're in town. Now, usually there are a few outlying monsters here. Like I said, this is one of my favorite spots, uh, especially in Act 1. This is probably one of the, the best spots early on in the game. To uh, Ooh, yellow buckler. That... Looks awesome. Early spots in in the early early part of the game, especially in Act One, to to level grind. Not only because Blood Raven is here, and you know, as soon as you take on the boss, there's always going to be a good drop. Uh, definitely something blue, I should say. It's not always going to be good, but there's also these two small dungeons here. There's a mausoleum on that side, and I believe it's the crypt on the other side. Uh, we're gonna head into the mausoleum first. And these are small. They, they're not that big. And there's usually good weapons and, and armor and all sorts of loot in here. Like a blue sash. That I probably won't use because, well, I have a regular belt now. And I like my three lines of potions. But, yeah. Don't forget to go into the graves. <laughs> uh, the Hell Shrine will repair... Uh, Stores health, just like you would imagine. I don't know the exact number on it, but it's it's definitely more than what we have at this point. Boots, uh, not going to be useful, even though I have a new party member. She cannot equip boots. And no, I'm not going to be keeping uh, this, uh, this, this uh, party member throughout me the entire time. Now, as a paladin... Uh, my, my, my companion is going to do more damage than I am because I do have the auras. That's where most of my skill points are going to be going into these auras. And auras, they, they, they help everybody within a certain distance of me, everybody on my side. So she has, you, you know, that she's got the thing going around her as well. That is might. So her damage increase is up by 40% as well. What, what? This guy drop a chip ruby. I didn't even get to see his name. I killed him so damn fast. Let's go over here. Destroy some barrels. I do love having the companion. I end up not attacking a lot of people because I have the companion. And I just assume that the companion is going to kill him eventually. Like I said, these places aren't that big. And there's always a, a, an awesome treasure chest here. Uh, and there's usually a couple specials in here. We already did encounter one. Uh, there's another one, Undead Spectral Hit. Did not, did not see his name. I always look at the description first, uh, because that tells me the vital information. Your name is not important to me. Let's pick up those level leather gloves. You can equip gloves. No, you cannot equip gloves. Uh, and that's it. All right. Probably gonna need to use a town portal right here because this put yeah that thing's full. Uh, Strangling gas potion. That's always good to sell. I can't they only take up you. one spot, and there. Damn, I am full. And then I take it one spot and they usually sell pretty well. So I'm going to use another town portal. Just right click the town and I'll open one up. And I will come back to, 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 to finish getting all this stuff. Okay, I'm back. And I brought two scrolls of identify with me. And I'm going to use those right now on the cap. Uh... Okay, that's that's pretty much useless for the character. Like I said, uh, no, they don't have mana, and uh, durability is, is nothing for them. But I'm going to give it to her anyway until we get something use. better uh, because it does increase her defense by four. And then this, we'll get use. that up to uh, 67. I didn't uh, trade her in yet. I should have done that. Let's go ahead and grab that stamina potion. Leather armor is not good for me. We've already found the, the treasure... Uh, treasure chest, the awesome chest in this little dungeon, but there's still enemies to kill and loot to grab from them. So I am going to keep going. And anything up there? Barrels! Die, barrels! Die. Hate barrels. Ever since the original Donkey Kong, which I have never beaten. I don't know anybody that has beaten the original Donkey Kong. Okay, like, 
I can do like the first level, don't get me wrong, but there's like I don't even know, there's like twenty levels, something like that. I should I should go get that game. It's gotta be on like the, the regular Nintendo, right? Bust it out with some save states. Should be able to beat it then. Okay, nothing nothing all that great down here. I have gotten to the point where I do not need to pick up the minor healing potions anymore. I am fully stocked on light healing potions, even got a couple spare ones in my inventory, and then I can use the Hell Shrine, which th defeats the whole purpose of, of, of having potions, but whatever, it is only temporary. I swear I heard groaning. Whatever. We're out of here. And then we can head to the other side, to the crypt where uh, pretty much we get to do this again, arrows and bolts. Once again, no use for me, I am a melee character. Oh, did I go over my new shield? I don't think I did. Oh, I don't even know, what was I doing? Uh, yeah, I, sometimes I forget when I switch, uh, whatever. I do have a new buckler. Chance of block is 40%. Um, it has a faster block rate, enhanced defense, fire and poison resist, and it has thorns. Attacker takes damage of one. The Primstone Wing Buckler. That thing is awesome. All right, let's keep looting. Uh, Fulminating potion. Once again, that's something that you can throw. Uh, I I can actually throw this one. Yeah, sweet. Uh, does 5 to 15 damage. I'm not going to be using those. Those are just to sell. Superior Eagle Orb. That is for the sorceress. But it sucks. Well, it's socketed, so it, it still might uh, sell for, for something. Socket does add to the value. But uh, really, I'm looking for plus something to a skill. Um, like on this wand, maybe? Yes, plus two to teeth for a necromancer. So if you've got teeth, this was for you, but... You're not here, so I can't give it to you. Let's grab that gold. I don't understand why in single player. Oh, here's stone skin. It's not going to help you. Uh, why in single player, they give you items that you can't use. Like, in multiplayer, you could trade it, but in uh, single player, you know, there is no use for me picking up anything other than selling. You know, when it's not for me. Holy crap, was that already the shiny one? Jeez, man, that thing was awesome. I didn't see if it was shiny or not. I bet it was. No, there's the shiny one. Holy crap, this thing was just awesome. Die, skeletons. So, yeah, that's why this place is the bone breaker. Down you go. He dropped. Nice. And it shipped Ruby. Uh, rejuvenation potions, I don't think I went over. Uh, well... The mana potions works pretty much the same as the health potions, except for mana. Rejuvenation potions, however, are instant. So as soon as you use them, it heals up both your life and your mana, but at once. So if you don't have, if you have uh, less than 35% to heal, it only heals up to the max, and then you start losing health after it. So uh, in the long run, it's probably better to use the healing potions if you can afford the time. And the rejuvenation potions are kind of an, an emergency thing. Um, yeah, let's, let's, we might as well open up this chest here, see what's inside, uh, grab all the gold and all that kind of stuff. Uh, regular healing potions, those are definitely appreciated. And I will keep those, like, up here. In fact, that one should be up there. Alright, do need to go back to town, overburdened, all that kind of stuff, be right back. <laughs> 